Welcome back. In the last video, we finished. Uh, we have finished the number sixty-three. Okay, let's start from number sixty-four. 昨天晚上睡得太晚，今天起床时已经八点多了。我刷了牙，洗了脸，就出来了，差点忘了关门。到了公司，会议已经开始了。没办法，我只能站在外面等休息时间。Yes, 呃，他今天早上 ，let let's look at the question. 他今天早上 ，to today, 嗯、uh, ，in the morning, in the morning of today, he did something. Okay, let's look at the context again. 昨天晚上睡太晚。Yesterday I stay up very late. 今天起床时已经八点多了。I woke up. At eight、uh, o'clock, around eight eight o'clock, 我刷了牙，洗了脸。I、uh, brush my teeth and wash my face, 就出来了。And then I went out, 差点忘了关门。I almost forgot to close my door. 到了公司 ，after、uh, after I got to、uh, my company. 会议已经开始了。The meeting has already started. 没办法。There's nothing I could do. 我只能站在站在外面等休息时间。There there was nothing I can do. So I have to stand outside. Uh, to wait until their break. And the question is, in the morning he. Let's look at those choices. He, 没复习，没复习 didn't review. The B is 迟到了 He was late. C 忘了关门 He didn't close the door. Close the door. Let's look at the choice C first. He 忘了关门忘 I forget to close the door. And in the context. 差点忘了关门。差点 means almost forget to close the door. I almost forget to close my door, but I still close it, right? So in the choice is forget to close means I didn't close. So this is not the case. B 迟到了。到了公司，会议已经迟到了。In the context. In the context, he didn't really say he was late. But based on the context, 到了公司，会议已经开始了。When I arrived, when I arrived at my company, the meeting has already started. That means I was late, right? And A, 没复习 I didn't review. Uh, I I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I went outside, and I almost closed my door. Almost forget to close my door, and when I arrived at my company, the meeting had already started.、Uh, there was nothing I can do.、Uh, the only thing I could do is stand outside. There's nothing to do with whether you review or not. So the choice would be B. I was late. Okay. The next one. 我去年春节去过一次上海。今年再去的时候呢？发现那里的变化非常大。经过那那条街道时，我几乎不认识了。我去年春节去过一次上海。I went to Shanghai last year during the Spring Festival. Spring Festival is Chinese New Year. And 今年再去的时候 ，when I went there this year， 发现那里的变化非常大。I realized a great change has been happened in Shanghai. 经过那几条街时 ，when I walking on the street, uh, some street in Shanghai, 我几乎不认识，几乎，几乎 ，almost. It's like this one. 差点儿，几乎 means 差点儿 They are the same. 
我几乎不认识他，我差点不认识他。I almost didn't recognize it because what it changed a lot. OK， 根据这这段话可以知道 ，According to the sentence, you can know that a 现在是春节 ，right now is Spring Festival. Spring Festival. B. 上海变化很大。Shanghai has changed a lot. C. 上海人很热情。C. 呃、uh, ，people in Shanghai are enthusiastic, enthusiastic, and I would say friendly. 热情，热情，热情 means nice. 热情 means nice. Yeah, and enthusiastic. In Chinese means, zh, zh, sorry, not zh, 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 zh means, zh means enthusiastic. Zh is nice. Yeah. So, so let's look at those keywords. 春节，春节，我去年春节去过一次上海。今年再去的时候，发现变化特别大。Last year. I went to Shanghai during the Spring Festival, and that's the only case in in the in this context where 春节 has appeared. 现在是春节 Right now is Spring Festival. And see, 去年 means last year. I went to Shanghai during the Spring Festival last year. It's not right now. It's last year, right? So it's not this case. Shanghai 变化很大 Shanghai has changed a lot. Based on the context, we have analyzed that before, because I didn't really, I, I couldn't really, I almost couldn't recognize it. Recognize what? 经过那几条街市 when I was walking down that some some street, I couldn't even recognize it because. Shanghai has changed a lot, so that I couldn't re- recognize it. That means Shanghai changed a lot. Yeah, and see, Shanghai 人很热情 People in Shanghai very nice. They didn't say anything about people in Shanghai. They just say,、um, he couldn't recognize those streets because the Shanghai has changed a lot. So in this case. B is correct. The next question: 世界真的很小。我昨天才发现，你给小张介绍的男朋友是我妻子以前的同学。Low, so complicated, right? Don't worry. Let's break it down. 世界真的很很小。世界 the world 真的 is really 很小 very small. The world is really small. 昨天我才发现。Yesterday, I realized. 昨天 yesterday, 你给小张介绍的男朋友 Let's break it. 你给小张介绍的朋男朋友的男朋友 the boyfriend. 你给小张介绍的男朋友小张 is a person, just like you know, a person. 小张 the boyfriend that、uh, you introduced. To Xiao Zhang, you the boyfriend that you 介绍 introduced that introduced to Xiao Zhang. How do I know is to Xiao Zhang to because here 给给 means to. I give it to you. 我给我给 I give it to you. 我给你给给小张 to 小张 The boyfriend that introduced to Xiao Zhang is is my wife, my wife, my wife's ex colleague. Sorry, not ex. My wife's former colleagues, colleague, colleague, 同事 colleague. This word is so small. Yesterday, I realized the boyfriend that you introduced to Xiao Zhang. Is my wife's former colleague. 
So in the question, 小张的男朋友是我妻子。小张的男朋友。This is the subject. 小张的男朋友。小张的男朋友是 is 我妻子的我妻子的以前的同事。以前的同事 ，right？ 是我妻子以前同事 ，yes。以前的丈夫。So in in the in this context, the 丈夫 ，where does the 丈夫 appear? There's nothing to do with the 丈夫 ，right？ 我以前的男朋友 ，my ex-boyfriend。ex-boyfriend is nothing to do with ex-boyfriend。It has to do with ex colleague, not ex boyfriend, right? So the choice would be A. For the next few questions, I will see you in the next video.